Hello guys, welcome to another exciting episode. This is GAC Podcast and it's your boy here once again from the J to the O to the S to the H. It's Josh guys and today we're going to be talking about my farm experience, the farm boy experience. This is the poultry farmers edition. Okay, so how was life for me while in the poultry? Yeah, how was life? How was my everyday? So I'm going to be sharing the steps for what happens from our routine activities. So if you're planning to be a farm boy or if you're planning to get into the poultry space, just know that this is actually likely how your day is going to be going. (laughs) Okay, guys, let's dive in in a sec. Okay, moving over. I hope your weekend is going fine. We just hit 150 subscribers. I want to say thank you all for that. It, it's been, it's been, it's been stressful. It's been long. <laughs> when people are telling me building a YouTube channel, it's a very, it's, it, it, it's not an easy thing to do. I felt they were capping, but guys, no couple. Like that channel has been there for over years. I think it's it's two years plus the only issue i had was consistency okay i i I will break off communication at some point at some point i would restart again at some point i break off communication but now it's time to get the get the ball rolling and it's time to get the game rolling so every week back to back something must drop on gac podcast it has to be a topic it has to be a discussion it has to be something you can key into learn from it has to be something that either excites you or informates you all right so let's not slack let's not lose um hope let's not lose focus it's all gonna grow we are all all going to grow so um, if you are one person who has, is actually growing your YouTube channel and is also taking long time to grow, just look at it as from the point of view that you're only sharing your knowledge, okay? And as long as you get a view or two or three, just know that one person there or someone out there is listening to your voice. So it's the farm boy um, story, is the farm boy on the GAC podcast, and I'm going to be sharing the poetry edition. With you so how does actually my life go that um, if I'm not mistaken I've actually spent over over three if not three years of my life yes three years of my life in um, the agri space like fully involved and within these three years I've touched the poetry space and I was fully involved for six to seven months straight strictly poetry and it was it was quite an experience i'm going to be sharing different editions from rabbitry edition because i've been into that um i was actually um during my school days my training days we had a lot of that and i spent like a year straight on other on different aspects and i'm going to be telling you how your day we gave you at adventure into any of those in our um farm boy experience episode so it's more like um my life was going more in circles then it's not even in circles because they are routine activities, right? Just the way you as a human, you eat, you take your shower, you brush your teeth, you use the restroom, just your normal everyday routine. You go to work, you come back, you relax, you make break, um, dinner, you have your dinner and you sleep off and wake up the next day to do the same thing over and over and over again. So that's actually how we actually did it then but i'm going to be sharing the step-by-step approach we actually took and days when it was way hectic with also days when it was cool (laughs) so on the farm boy edition what really happens on let me not use on a monday let me see on a very regular day very regular day at this is actually what we did i know um if you're approaching from a listening your timing might be different but our timing is what i'm going to be sharing so on a very regular day in the morning as early as um 6 30 by six o'clock we're already awake so 6 30 this is actually for adult birds for our layers all right for our layers yes 
we we actually um farmed the breed hisa brown and 6 30 they have to be fed so once we wake up by 6 30 if the day is still dark we turn on the generator and now once the generator is on okay once the generator is on we move into the pen and the first thing we do is observe the birds this observation might not take up to five minutes now once you get into your your pen if your, your chicken has to welcome you so once you're working we always have them making lots of sounds they know feed is coming so they will be shaking and banging on their battery cages go 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 and the rest they make different sounds and then you are happy that they are happy right you are happy that they are responding but once you walk in and realize that they are not happy they are not welcoming you then there is something wrong somewhere either they are, their water flow is interrupted or if you notice that any of them is looking pale or weak then check their water flow or better still they are sick or better still something that have happened at night so first on a regular day you have them welcome you with that loud noise and that keeps you happy it means your birds are doing fine then we move in bags of feed so we give um we actually had we had two different cages so one of them house 2000 plus each house house two, two um 2000 plus birds and we had in total 5000 plus and um yes we had in total almost 5000 almost 5000 um it was 5000 before we started selling off 5000 plus before we started selling off so the it was seen that range of 5000 5000 plus so we actually had them in two sections so i was i was actually working in i can work in any section because i was supervised and at that time so um move in you drop the feed and after that after your observation then you get started now once you get started you can decide to feed from any point now most times we um, i have some of my colleagues that would prefer to that they've made it a norm to begin from the left hand side some will begin from the middle of the cage some will begin depending on where they might actually find interesting so me i love working with my right so i would move to the right hand side of the cage and i will start feeding now we make do with bowls drinker bowls to actually feed so you spread the feed and once you spread this feed you actually have the chickens bow <laughs> to me i see that bowing as as a way of saying thank you now they bow to feed from the feeder okay they have to bow if they want to feed so they bow to feed and you see a lot of them gulping different um volumes of feed and some will even step on themselves and all that and it was it was it's just a great sight to behold. now once you're done with a particular angle of the battery cage seriously farmers will testify to this looking at your layers from an angle with all of them their heads bowed to feed it is a very beautiful artistic creation yes once you look at them i i don't actually have the pictures again but once you look at them bow their heads to feed with their combs large like pointing forward and then banging their heads on that feeder to feed and all of them have their heads low to be sincere you will marvel at the creation or at the artistic creation that that singular act of theirs has so that's that for it and then from we we'll do the feeding till around it depends on how many hands we have at that moment if anybody travels it extends till around 9 8 30 it's 39 so after feeding we have to sweep the pen it's very important to keep it clean hygiene so we sweep the pen once you sweep the pen we change the water feet deep yeah the foot deep is um, a disinfectant okay it's a disinfecting deep which before any of us walks into the pen and once you have gone out before you walk in you have to dip your legs or your feet into that water deep the, the reason is the water deep contains disinfectant and it meant to it is actually meant to wash off microorganisms harmful microorganisms from your from your leg before you walk into the pen so we put our legs into the feet deep and then we put our legs into the feet deep and then we move into the pen so at, um, every morning or whenever we want to change it we have to um take off the water flush out the water already in then we pour in new water 
and flush off to cleanse it then we can now add fresh water and put our um, disinfectant into the foot deep so that is it and once you've done that you're done for the morning now in times when you've noticed that your water level is low or you want to actually administer a multivitamin after feeding them and you've changed the foot deep the next thing to do is to get your multivitamins you pump in fresh water so what we do is we discard old water the water that is already in the tank we discard it once we have discarded it then we pump in fresh water and we add our multivitamins so multivitamins helps them feed fine it helps them feed fine so they can lay better quality eggs so we actually administer our multivitamin to them now that multivitamin that is being administered we have to watch till they are, is finally consumed so we pump in fresh water okay so that is just how the morning goes now from there we move them to the kitchen <laughs> so the kitchen most times in the mornings we don't really eat because you know it's it's once you're done everybody wants to freshen up and you want to relax a bit because obviously you've woken up very early and you you'd need rest so we'd sleep off and waking up now once you rest a bit once it is 10 we move into the pen again most times you don't do it at 10 sometimes you do it at 11 so you move into the pen depending on when we finish feeding them and finish changing the when we are changing and um, putting um multivitamins and everything then you would know obviously that we might be finishing around 9 30. so then we go for the, to spread the feed around 11 we do not got, we don't no longer go 10 but when we know it's just the feeding we are feeding and sweeping then around 8 30 we are done so once it's 10 you move in to spread the feed the reason for spreading the feed is whenever they feed right they love is the side of the corn the corn the, the grains of corn in it that attract them to feed so most times they have picked up the the, the the grains of corn on the surface leaving the one underneath so once you go for them to have access to the micronutrients and also the um, blended um materials in that feed you have to spread it give them something that attracts them so it looks like a fresh feed to them and they will still consume so once you do that by 10 or depending on where we finished 10 or 11 then it won't take you more than 30 it won't even take you more than 20 minutes you're done with it that's if it depending on how large the cage is so it won't take you more than 10 20 minutes so it, 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 it doesn't take us um longer time because we'll go in in masses and we'll just quickly do it blah, 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 and we're done so once we're done with that um it's mostly at noon that we eat so we go on to make our breakfast in the afternoon <laughs> so we make our breakfast in the afternoon most days we actually take rice with um fried dodo that if we have plantain on the farm if we have any ripe ones then um make jollof rice concoction most of the times with fried dodo and if there is eggs if they are cracked then we make eggs boiled eggs to eat them then sometimes if we don't have eggs we can actually make do with them like that just the dodo and we're done we're ready we eat our food and in some cases we make um semo with um vegetable there with little saint leaf to give it that flavor so that we're done we have our breakfast stroke lunch <laughs> then once it is once it is depending on how hot the temperature is most times we actually feed them in the afternoon by two but sometimes when we notice that the temperature is excessively hot we feed them by three we allow the temperature to cool off a bit the sun to come down a bit before we actually feed them so we're going in the afternoon with um depending on the ratio we're feeding with but we will feed with the ratio 60 40. so you give them six bags in the morning package four bags in the afternoon package so we do four bags in the afternoon and we give them <clears throat> now the same procedure we follow in the morning we follow it in the afternoon but we don't sweep all we just have to do is to check their water if they have enough water and to check the nipples now the nipple is where they drink from the reason why we check the nipple most especially in the afternoons is because of the temperature they need much water we check it in the morning too but not all the time once we notice that all of them are vibrant we don't see any pale combs we don't see any um uh, any um haggard looking bird we don't see any lazy looking bird then we know they are all fine but 
in the afternoons a lot of them would need water so excess tapping of that nipple can actually bend the nipple uh, mouth to one side yes that's the flow through to one side blocking the water flow or sometimes once it bends it it increases the water flow it, it does not even allow it pause so we have to check out for that then 30 minutes one hour one hour 30 minutes we are done with that then we're out then in the evening you go back to pick that same afternoon sorry after feeding then you pick your eggs so once they are feeding you would have seen loads of eggs lined up on the on the tray yes on the cage tray so you actually pick your eggs after picking your eggs you arrange them at a proper size most times it's better to arrange if you have a shaded side um in the pen arrange them in that shaded side because when we actually used to have sun if you put your eggs towards that sun part sunny part the egg can actually get spoiled easily so when we have excess sun we put the eggs in the middle of the cage where we don't have sunlight okay to prevent the egg from getting spoiled easily so that's what we do day and afternoon so at night in the evenings um if they are going to be supplying eggs you are going to be loading the truck in the evening for the next day supply but if they aren't going to be supplying in the evening we'll go for the evening egg pickup so after that um, we pick up the eggs we arrange on the crate then we spread their feed again after spreading their feed then we would take stock of the whole eggs for the day and this is that this actually takes place by 6 p.m so once we are done we take stock and we send the stock to the manager and then we're done for the day we're done for the day not the night <laughs> so at night another work starts so after that after that let, let me not skip so after that um we proceed to making our dinner most times we don't sleep without eating it's because in the morning you have to work and morning we don't even wake up very early to make meals uh, we don't start making meals very early because after working sometimes you're tired and you want to rest so we do the meals we eat more at night yes we eat more at night so we make our dinner and we make some sauce very nice dinner at night sometimes it's potato porridge with sweet corn sometimes we do plantain porridge sometimes we do um if we have um sick birds that we're giving permission to slaughter we slaughter the sick bird and use it for stew rice or for jollof rice or anything as long as it's something nice to consume we make something we make the most the nicest meal at night in the evening okay we make the nicest meal in the evening so from there after that we eat and everybody goes to bed once it's 3 3 a.m in the morning so and um, before before that we do turn on the generator at 7 and leave it till 11 then we turn it off for the birds so they can eat for longer hours but what we started doing later was allowing the birds to sleep first then once it's 3 we turn on the gen and leave it till morning so after the morning feeding we we'll turn it off so that's just how the day goes for the poultry layer section so i'm not going to be talking about broilers because this is already getting too long so that is just it on farm boy edition the poultry layer section <laughs> thank you so much guys for listening it's your boy from the j to the o to the s to the h philips josh here and this is gac podcast peace